Get up in the morning with the alarm clock warning. Get out all your ingredients. Put them in the pot. We're going to make something yummy. In the evening, it's going to be in your tummy. Cooking in the crock pot. Cooking in the crock pot. And making food real yummy. Get down. Work out now. Air guitar. Okay, enough of that. We're here today. We're cooking in the crock pot. First couple of updates. I got something yummy coming here. This is some habanero mango. I put uh, extra mango in there. I put some ginger. If you like the, uh, got a lot of good compliments on the last one. So really jazz this one up. Um, it's got some yummy ingredients in there. Lots of mango, lots of habanero. Like I say, some ginger, onion, garlic. I'm going to be probably bottling it next week. And you might even find a few bottles in your favorite mom and pop ranch store. If you know what I'm talking about. And then I got some cans here. I got a bunch of cans coming on. We're going to fill this jar up with cans. And I even got a, ha ha uh, whew, a jalapeno bush that's about to bust out. And I'm thinking maybe a sweet, like a... Honey habanero, um, uh, what else? Garlic sauce. And it's funny how I become a brand ambassador. A brand, you know, first out west it was um, Woolrich and then North Face and then Columbia got me addicted. I'm still a fan of all those things. But my friend Tammy gave me this uh, Ninja Blender, Ninja Air Fryer. And then the other day, a nice thing about living in a ritzy area with no money, the thrift stores. Check this out. A $200 uh, Ninja coffee bar. The only thing it's missing is a scoop. There's a little thing to froth your milk to make cappuccinos. Y'all know how I love my coffee. But anyway, I got it for 20 bucks. And then I also got my new crop pot for 10 bucks. They had everything half off. And that's what we're dealing with today. So the first thing we're going to do, and let me tell you, tell you a couple things. A um, couple things about this recipe. You can um, exchange the meat. I'm using pork, boneless pork ribs today, pork shoulder, boneless pork shoulder. And um, you could use turkey, chicken. You could use uh, oxtail. You could use portobello mushrooms and substitute the canned soups I'm going to be using for vegetable broth, and it would be vegan. So, um, what else? Oh, um, so in the meats, you could, like I say, you could switch them out. But anyway, if you make this recipe in the morning, you can have everything diced up the night before. Just throw it in your crock pot before you leave for work. And when you get home in the evening, your house is going to smell delicious. So here we go. I got it all ready. The first thing we're going to do is take the crock pot. And we got, I got some of this Pam spray oil here. We're going to just put a little olive oil in there. Just a little bit to coat the bottom because the pork uh, shoulder is really uh, pretty fatty anyway. So I got two medium sweet potatoes. You could put maybe one. I'm gonna put that in there like that. If you, you could use one large, large one I should say. But these are two medium and they're just in the bottom like that. Love me some sweet potatoes. I got some carrots. That's uh, two medium sized carrots. Organic of course. I always use all organic stuff if I can. So then what we're going to put, we're going to season our pork. I suggest using Uncle Eddie's Cajun Two-Step uh, for this. But I seem to be out, so a close second would be Tony Cashier's Original Creole Seasoning. We're going to put that in there just like that. Boom. We're going to lay them in there on top of everything else. Look at that. Ooh, that's a big meaty one right there. Look at that. Woo. 
and there we go look at that that's perfect man oh man it's funny how that works out for me like that hold on let me wipe off my hand don't fall over i'm gonna wipe my hand off and then we're gonna set that to the back we can go ahead and put the lid on it um i've got it set for on low for seven hours and 30 minutes there should be ready in about six hours but what we're going to do now is we're going to make our stuffing mix that's right we're making a pork um pork shoulder with um sweet potatoes carrots and stuffing yes. so let's open this up it's funny, um, I didn't even realize this until I went to the grocery store the uh, day before yesterday. This is sage and onion. They make several different kinds now. It used to be, it only used to be the herb and then the cornbread. Now we've got this. This is sage and onion. They had a whole cream. They had a cornbread. Use what you like on this. Cornbread would probably be pretty good. Get rid of that. So now to this, we're gonna add some sari. We got some sari here. We're gonna dice it up. And I'm telling you, you get this together, get it all going. When you get home in the afternoon, the evening, your house is going to smell delicious, and it's going to taste delicious. I'm here to tell you. Man, you know I love it. Um, what else? So, I got my seasonings coming. I got some jewelry working. And I got some sauces making. And for those of you who go into our favorite guest ranch this summer, you know which one I'm talking about. The Bon Lazy G. You might go in the Mom and Pop's general store and you might can just find some of my stuff. So be sure and check it out. Something new. Woo. Chop that up. There we go. We're going to add that to our stuffing mix. Oops, a couple of onions are trying to get away from me. There we go. We're going to put in, since we got so many habaneros. This is a little bitty small one. It ain't going to do much. <laughs> we will take that out. There we go. We will take this out. And we're going to cut them. We're going to dice them up. So y'all know I'm a better cook than I am a singer, but I like singing. I think music goes good with it. You know, if you like to sing while you're cooking, your food's going to be a whole lot better. So you want that habanero diced up pretty good. Make all that flavor and get around. Look at there, there's another little piece of onion. Where'd you come from? We're going to just put that right in there. And I got a couple of glue, cloves of garlic here. Where are they? Here they are. We're going to do that. We're going to do that. And we're going to do that. <laughs> That's what I should have done in the beginning. So, garlic's chopped up pretty good. There we go. We're going to put
put her in there. Love me some garlic, y'all know that. So now what? We got some, uh, can you see in there? Yep. We got, there's a piece of carrot in my cup still. I got some of this uh, whole berry cranberry sauce. Come on out of there. Let's give it some help. Oh, you want to see a neat trick? Let's see if this works. There you go. Yep. All it needed was a little air behind it. Poking that little hole in there and it just came right out. Just clean as a whistle. Worked every time. Um, we got some cream of chicken with herbs right yonder. Put her in there. What we got now, you can use, the, you know, some people don't like mushrooms. So you can, um, like if I was fixing this for my sister, I wouldn't put mushrooms in here, cream of mushroom. I just put cream of celery or something along those lines. There we go. Now, let me get something bigger here. I got a bigger spoon here. You want to mix that up really good. Look yummy already. Colorful. I love colorful food. So, we're going to put also a uh, half a can of chicken broth. You can use plain water. I almost got, um, whoops. I almost got some pork, pork gravy, but I hope that would be too thick. So we're going to put that broth in there just like that. Half a can of broth. Oh, yeah. And I'm wondering, really, with the pork so fatty, if it really needed that. But we're going to go with it. So then, we're going to bring the crock pot back over. We'll raise you up a little bit. Ooh, it's already hot. So, there we are. There we are, just like that. Tighten back up. Tighten up. That's what James Brown used to say. Tighten up. There we go. So now, all we're going to do, we're going to come in with that stuffing. Pull it over the top, just like that. Man, this is going to be so good. six to eight hours this is going to be yummy fried we're also going to take a little butter take a few tabs of butter booyah booyah whoops about cut off my finger and booyah i always use unsalted butter i use pasteurized butter I've gone over this before, but with the salt-free butter, you know how much salt you got in there. That canned soup already has a lot of salt. You really don't need any more. But um, at least with this, you can um, add it if you need it and you won't get over salted. So there we go. We'll come back in about uh, eight hours. 
six to eight hours, but we'll come back in about eight hours and we'll check her out. Ooh -wee. As you can see, we got peppers galore. I'm gonna let a couple of these habaneros um, try to turn red, see if they'll turn red. I got one here. It's about red, but it's also dying there at the stalk. It may be time to pick that one. Let me start turning black on the stem like that. But some of them, this is a cow horn. Um, as you can see, it's budding out some new leaves. And I'm finding that, um, like this habanero, it's lost a lot of leaves now. Um, so it'll be time when I pick these last peppers to prune it back. I got some cayennes coming on there. Look at these jalapenos. Jalapeno plant, first off, is looking beautiful. Found some squash bugs on it. Got rid of them, I think. Sprayed some neem oil. Um, squashed a bunch of them. Can you see all them jalapenos up in there? Ooh-wee. That's going to make some good jalapeno sauce. Don't know if you can see them in there or not. Look at them all. I mean, the plant is just loaded down with them. I'm glad I saw them squash bugs this morning. Oh, look. There's one right there. Squash. You've been squashed, squash bub. See if I see any more right quick. Get that one off of there. So, hopefully the neem oil will get rid of the rest of them if there are any that I've missed. There were a bunch of them this morning. I've gotten rid of most all of them. So now, on to the main part of the video. My bell peppers, see how I've got them pruned? My bell peppers, I'm thinking I need to thin them like we did the peaches. We used to thin peaches like that far, that far apart. And all these bell peppers, they're growing so close together, they're not getting any size. I think I'm gonna go in here. See, look at that, that one's small. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go in there and thin them out a little bit. But um, anyway, on to the main part of the video. Well, I've been working all day trying to pay my bills. And it gets a little harder every day. So I got kind of hungry and I rushed right home. Because you know, the house is smelling yummy. We're cooking in the crock pot. Cooking in the crock pot. Cooking in the crock pot. And it smells real good. Let's eat. Look at that. Woo! Steamed you up. How about that? Yummy. So the crop pot's all warm, but it's still a bubbling. So I don't know if maybe that's why they sell the crop pot. Maybe it cooks a little hot. But look at that. Maybe I should have sprayed the sides a little bit more. Hold on. So the first thing I'm gonna do, so I got my plate here. I got me some greens. You know you gotta have your greens. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Oops, my salad dressing spilled all in there. I'm gonna put up some greens right here just because we need them there's all kind of good stuff in there there's uh, some carrots and cabbage cabbage is real good for you know how I love cabbage there's other salads in there too escarole I don't know anyway so one little tip about this is if you don't like your 
food. <laughs> we'll cut this off. If I can figure out, there we go, off. So if you didn't like your food all mixed up, I don't mind it. I don't mind that my food mixes together. It doesn't, you know, it touches. I've known people who didn't want their food to mix. And that's okay. What you could do is do a perforated pan on top and put your sweet potatoes. Look how tender that pork is. I mean, it's just falling apart in there. Man, oh man. Little pieces of pork. There's another little piece. And uh, anyway, you put a perforated pan right on the top and put your carrots and sweet potatoes in that if you wanted to. Look at there. There's a nice piece of pork. Pork shoulder. Now the sweet potatoes and carrots are all in the bottom. Man, look at that. Woo-wee! You be eating good tonight. And it doesn't, you know, this is a fairly, uh, in, ooh, that's hot, fairly inexpensive meal as far as things are concerned these days. So, now you know what comes next. We're going to try and get a taste tester. Anybody, any volunteers? Me, me, I volunteered. Look at that, there's a little bit of pork. And that pork... Mixed with a little sweet potato there. Oh, it's got a little carrot. Mmm, some stuffing. Let's see how this is. I can tell you already, it's wonderful. Mmm. Oh, man. That stuffing. So nice and moist. You know, and it was worth putting that half a can of um, of uh, stock in there. It needed it. It's not too soupy at all. It's not. It's not soupy at all. Here's a nice piece of pork. Mm mm mm. You know, this is good. Mm 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 mm. Mm. We give the crazy sing singing, you know that BTO song I'm trying to recreate there in my own way. Mm. This is just too good. Mm. Man, that's some kind of good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Check my shirt out. So, check out. Um, I'm going to have jewelry, seasonings, and hot sauce at your favorite dude branch this uh, summer. Guest ranch. Going to try to. Mm. Hang on, Luke, but I'm coming. Ooh. This is sending me in the BT Overdrive. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to have to go. Because this is too good to stop eating. Give me a thumbs up. Try this recipe yourself. Change it to suit you. Mm. Like I say, you can use pork. You can use um, chicken, turkey, portobello mushrooms. It's all sorts of things you could use besides pork. Um... Mmm, that's good. That's just good. So give me a thumbs up. Follow the channel. Check me out on all the other social medias. And I guarantee you this. If you give me a thumbs up, if you like the video, I'll be eating some good food tonight. See ya.